Welcome to PremiumSelectSupplies.com. Our latest video is on the new Streamlight TLR6 HL that was just released. This is the HL USB-C rechargeable light and red laser for the MMP Shield 40 and 9 millimeter, and the part number is 69342. But before I continue, make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video so you're alerted to new products when they come out and watch all the way to the end for pricing and a discount code. So the new feature of this light includes the following. It's now USB-C rechargeable and includes three lithium ion batteries and a charging case. So in the charging case, you have two batteries and you have this rubber cap. To open it, you have to pull out a little bit and then off to the side that exposes the batteries and it has the USB-C charging port and the light itself has a battery already installed. And Streamlight has also upped the lumens to 300 and it still includes the red laser. The first step you're gonna take to install the light is to take it apart. So it comes with an Allen wrench and this is going to be used for a couple different features. I'm going to remove that. It comes with the USB-C charging cord. And we're not going to need this right now. And for time's sake, I'm not actually going to install this. But the process is very simple. There are three screws. You're going to unlatch the battery door using a small little pry bar. You're going to undo the three screws. Take the housing apart. It's going to be in halves. Now, as you can see right here and up here, you're going to put that over the rail and trigger guard and put the other half on, reinstall the screws. As I mentioned, to open the battery door, take a small pry bar that will expose the battery. It's a lithium ion rechargeable battery. And you're going to put that negative side down first into the light. And then you're going to reapply the latch until you hear and or feel a click. And now the battery is installed. To operate the light, you're going to simply press either button on either side, depending on what handed you are. And when I press this once, it's going to turn that light on at 300 lumens now. And as you can see there in the middle is a red laser. Now, if I want to change that to just the light only, I'm going to take both buttons and press them one time, and that's going to remove the laser. If I do that one more time, it's going to turn the laser on and the light off. And one more time for factory settings of the light and the laser. Press either button, not both, but either button. You can press one time, and that turns it off. As I mentioned, that wrench has a dual use, and that's to adjust the windage and elevation of the laser. And I would like to recommend that any of the screws, any of the windage elevation screws, be gentle. Don't just put it in and then yank on the, on the wrench. It is easy to round off the screw heads in same with the other screws, so please be careful. The price is listed in the description below, but if you use code YT10 at checkout, that's gonna get you 10% off in free shipping. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Again, make sure to subscribe, like this video, please share, that helps us out a lot. By subscribing, that's gonna alert you to other new products and other how-to videos that we release. Thank you.